Okay, guys, welcome back with me, Dr. Hussein Haniba. So, today, my video is going to be, I'm going to discuss about uh, one of the most scary part in chemistry. Most of the chemistry students still struggle a lot, especially in this, to balance a chemical equation. Today, I'm going to discuss, I'm going to give an overview what's going to, how to do the balancing chemical equations from a very simple chemical equation, a bit challenging equations. That is the most important thing. So guys, no more. After you're looking at this video, please don't still struggle to answer how to balance a chemical equation. So, basically, a few things that I would like to tell you before I proceed with my whiteboard skills, I will change it, okay? Always remember, guys, when we are talking a chemical equation, a chemical equation, which is, it is a process where the reactant change to a product. What is a reactant? Reactant is substance that we have before an experiment. Please keep that in the mind. Reactant is a substance that we have before a chemical reactions. And a product is a substance that we do get uh, after an experiment, after a chemical reaction. So chemical reaction is all about a reactant change to a product. A reactant change to a product. Always keep in the mind. Reactant before the experiment and a product is after a experiment. So, in order to balance the chemical equation, first of all, you must identify the reactant and the product. So, now look at the screen. I'm going to change it to a white box, uh, whiteboard scales. So, <coughs> I'm going to share screen. And I will appear. I'll stop my video at the moment. Okay. So, look at the whiteboard, guys. So, today's topic, basically... Is about how to balance, how to balance, hmm, there's some error over here, okay, how to balance chemical equation. So, most probably, I will do it this video in a few parts. So you just stay tuned. So guys, a balanced chemical equation, just now I told you, a chemical equation is must consist a, a reactant, a reactant where the reactant change to a product. Okay, I will give you a simple example, very, very in general, in general, where a reactant is, as I told you, is before the experiment before an experiment and this one a product is formed as a result of the experiment so this will be your after the experiment so in general in general a chemical reaction is a process where you have a, a b those are the reactant combine undergo a chemical reactions and form a c and d so all of those the A, the B, C, D over here is represents an atom. Atoms in that involve in a particular chemical reaction. That involve in this particular chemical reactions. So our main job, our main task in order in chemical equation, when we have a chemical equation, is to ensure the left hand side, the number of atoms on the left hand side must be balanced with the number of atoms on the right-hand side. This is our main uh, task in uh, doing a balanced chemical equation. So, without further ado, there are a few steps. There are a few steps that we need to follow. Step number one. Always remember, guys, we need to count the atom, atoms on both sides. Okay? On both side the over here the both side here i'm actually referring to the the reactant 
and the product. Turn and the product. Mm -hmm. So this is what I'm referring to. Examples, guys. <coughs> okay. Um, I give you a very simple examples. So I have a S8 a plus with the oxygen 2 and it results in a SO2. SO2. If you look this a, a bit careful, the amount of atoms on the left hand side and the right hand side is not balanced. A simple, let's do it in a table form, guys. So on my left hand side, I have a sulfur and oxygen. Of course, I on my right hand side, I have a sulfur and oxygen as well. So the things is the amount, the total number of atoms. As you can see, the sulfur on the left hand side over here, I do have uh, eight sulfur. On and also <coughs> the sulfur, uh, the oxygens over here, I have a uh, two oxygens over here. On my right hand side, the sulfur, sulfur over here, I do have one sulfur and I do have a num amount of the oxygens over here. By looking at here, I have two and I just write it down two. Guys, look at here. Look at these comparisons between the right hand side, left hand side and right hand side. The number of atoms is not balanced. Okay, lucky enough, the number of sulfur is balanced. But this uh, number of oxygen is balanced, but the number of sulfur is not balanced. So guys, in order to make this equation to be balanced on the left hand side and right hand side, so we need to always remember, always remember in any chemical reaction, there are two things that you need to know. You look at this sulfur, sulfur 8. In front of this sulfur, do I have any number? Don't say no. Yes, I do have a number one. In chemistry, normally number one, we will never write it down. Not write it down. Okay? So, <coughs> there is two things that you need to know before I proceed with the balancing chemical equation. The number that in front of the sulfur, this number, it is known as a coefficient. Coefficient. Okay, this is a coefficient number. And also, a small number over here, this is referred as a subscript number. <coughs> okay, so you must remember guys, in any balancing chemical equation, we are only allowed to change the coefficient number. And we are not allowed to change any subscript number of the molecule or atom. Why it is? The moment we change this small number, the subscript number, the entire of the formula do change. So it is not belong to the original molecule anymore. So we are only allowed to change the coefficient value rather than the subscript value. So, with, okay, let's look how to make the equation to be balanced. <coughs> so by looking at here, I erase a bit of this thing. So you know the coefficient and also the subscript. So let's look at here. By just looking at here, I notice I do have, I do have over here only one, eh, sorry, I have uh, eight sulfur atoms, a sul eight sulfur atom. On the right hand side over here, I have only one sulfur atom. So it's just a simple mathematic, 8 and over here 1. Of course, we will multiply by 8. So again, guys, we are only allowed to touch or change the coefficient, not the subscript number. So don't ever you put a 8 over here. This is total wrong. This is a misunderstanding or misconceptual of balancing equation. This, the moment we put an 8 over here, the entire things become a new molecule, a new substance. It is not represents the original substance that we have highlighted. We want to maintain the sulfur dioxide. That is our main aim. Therefore, I can put an 
8 over here. The, the air coefficient, the number 8 is a coefficient. Remember, this is just like a simple mathematic. The 8 over here must be multiplied to each of the individual atoms or elements in that formula. So in this case, guys, when I times this and this, now I get from 1, it changed to 8 sulfur atom. But nevertheless, look at here. When I have this and I multiply the 8 with the 2, the number, it becomes 16. No longer it is 2. It becomes 16. The problem might rise over here. This is only 2. On, on my left hand side, it's only 2 oxygen. Therefore, it's just another simple mathematic. Um, 2 times multiply by what? give you a 16. It is just a clear cut. The unknown number over here will be 8. Therefore, we substitute 8 over here. Therefore, we manage to get a balanced chemical equation for this reaction. This is how you do a balanced chemical equation. Guys, please stay tuned. Until, uh, definitely, I'm going to do the subsequent video for balance, how to balance the chemical equation. I don't want to do the, uh, the one single video too length, too long. That might cause you a bit boring. So you can do it in a few sections. So please, if you have any question, please leave your questions in the comment sections, most probably in YouTube. I will answer as soon as possible. If not, if not, you also can communicate with me through my Instagram. This is my Instagram ID. Please communicate to further discussion. Underscore chemistry. So, stay tuned. Again, this is my Instagram ID. Dr. Hussein underscore chemistry. Stay tuned, guys. Thank you so much. And please subscribe and share my video and turn on notification. Thank you so much.